we didn't try to solve the production problems. We were providing the prototype. In other words, the, the model that's where the drawings and the design was correct, and then how to produce it by mass production was a not the next problem. That was <coughs> a largely, uh, well, uh, Larry wanted to have a production line. It would look well for visiting senators and so forth. And they had a production line. Well, what were we doing putting out about one helicopter a week? It was ridiculous to have a production line for one a week. But it, they had to f find out the hard way. And this came about because after they'd been in production, they began to come back, the wrecks came back to be rebuilt. And it was found that they could take a whole wreck apart and rebuild it in half the time with a crew of men who stayed on one thing than the production line. So when that showed up, they gave up the production line and made, I guess, at one third less, ex I mean, one third of the expense. And another fallacy of the production line was that. And this reads on the problem of evolution. Uh, we wanted to try to use bell parts, and we found that the bearings which we used in the tail rotor were uh, were equivalent to the ones that they used in the helico in the uh, Aracobra control system. But the Aracobra control, well, the Aracobra was exported to Russia and was used in Arctic climates. So they had to replace the normal grease by what was called Arctic grease. So all these bearings were stored with Arctic grease. So our uh, manufacturing called for replacing the normal grease, uh, which was done. The came off the line with the Arctic grease. So we couldn't figure it out. We'd, we'd specified, and there was a station in the production line where they put in the right grease. And everyone was running around trying to figure this out until we finally found that there was a final inspection station where everything was checked out. And they found the uh, regular grease in the bearings, so they replaced it with Arctic grease. <laughs> in other words, the change, there were protect, there were uh, a sort of protective device to prevent the assembly line from changing. Double insurance that it didn't deviate from the pattern. And this reads on evolution. They, they blithely say, well, the evolution of higher species is because there was an accident in the DNA and it got crossed up differently and that produced a mutant species. Well, I him it oots. I don't think that that's it. And the helicopter is an example because I was trying my best to make the helicopter evolve and the airplane DNA kept sh uh, reverting to type. 